it's almost 9 a.m. in Angie and class is about to start. But in this kindergarten, children won't sit in front of a blackboard, they spend their mornings outdoors. After a warm-up, it's time to build. We are building a shop. A coffee shop to sell tea, pudding and cakes. The teacher told us to build whatever we want the way we want. In Angie Play, children from three to six choose how they play and with whom. They can do things other preschools won't allow, like painting real cars. The concept, called True Play, was found by Cheng Shui Sheng 15 years ago. Traditionally, in Chinese education, teachers teach and students listen. Now we've given the kids the right to play. They're free to move from indoors to outdoors. Our children are happy, and I think happiness is very important in life. They can also focus on a task. They need it during the games. It's a valuable asset for their future studies. In the playground, teachers film every child during the activities. They're specially trained to observe the kids and learn about their behavior. Every day, playtime ends with a debrief in class. They want to explain what they're doing, and they do so with confidence, because it's something they've experienced. It's also something which develops their language skills. What's more, during the construction process, they encounter problems, like mathematical problems. The preschool stresses the importance of autonomy. Children organize the lunch area on their own and help themselves with food. Afterwards, it's nap time. Soft music helps them relax, and in 10 minutes, all is quiet in a school of 500 pupils. The Angie Play concept is attracting lots of attention across China and even in the United States. This year I went to San Francisco, Boston and Madison. In Madison there's a kindergarten for disadvantaged people, mostly Afro-Americans. They really want to implement Angie Play in their school. But in the beginning, Mrs Chen had a tough time convincing Chinese parents. They are afraid of the dirt and the risks. It took them a while to realize the benefits of learning while playing, especially for a generation of single children. My son has no choice but to play with other kids, to cooperate with them in order to finish the construction. He's bad-tempered, even violent sometimes. Thanks to the games, gradually his behavior has improved. Fourteen thousand children are taking part in the Angie Play curriculum in China's Zhejiang province. According to the organization, Angie Play is said to become part of China's national kindergarten standards. <laughs>